Finally, the cat is out of the box, or probably I should say the red panda is out of the box. The model that was topping the leaderboard of hugging faces text to image and also on artificial analysis. It was called red panda and nobody knew what was it. People were predicting it could be Dali. People were predicting it could be from uh, some company like Mid Journey or Runway. But to be very honest and surprising, it's from a company called Recraft. I mean, honestly, this is the very first time I hear about Recraft. The model name is called Recraft V3. It scored 1172 on Arena Elo. This is, in fact, much higher than Flux 1.1 Pro. It's not just the Arena Elo, but the win rate is quite amazing, 72%. It is on a selection of 31,000. So this model is definitely not uh, not, a, not a normal model. It's quite excellent, amazing. What, what is fascinating is that it's just not a simple text to image model. So in this video, I want to take you a little bit through what I know about the model. We don't have a lot of information. And we are also going to explore their platform and build something. They've got a very um, Miro board kind of a structure. And we are also going to see if uh, we can use it within fall. So these are the things that we're gonna see. First of all, what is Recraft? Recraft V3 is the model. The code name was Red Panda. So as you can see here, Red Panda. I don't know if it is a Chinese company, but somehow I was thinking it could be a Chinese company given that it is red in color and then there is a panda there. So it they themselves call it, it's a revolutionary AI model. We don't have any information about the architecture. It delivers unprecedented quality in text generation and outperforming other models from Midjourney, OpenAI and others. The main thing here is that it is not a simply an image generator. It's much more than that. It can help you with the text placement, style control, and also it can increase the quality. So the main reason here is that, that you can see that what, first of all, it is really, really good with images. You want it to create images. It can understand details very well. We'll see a couple of examples. The details that it captures in the images are one of the best that I've seen in the, um, in the industry. The image is not just uncanny. It's not like. It doesn't have that plasticky feeling all the time. I mean, we can also have that here you can see, but sometimes the image quality is really good. The main thing that I was quite excited is that it can generate really long text. So text generation without limits, Redcraft, Re Recraft V3 is the only model in the world that can generate images with long text as opposed to just one or a couple of words. This is very exciting. The fact that it can generate long text means, imagine like the movie Her, you want to have handwritten letters, you can probably now have a LoRa. I don't know if it if it would support LoRa, but you can have a LoRa trained on handwriting and then you can write it all. Exciting times. The next thing is that it is designed with people in mind, like not just as an AI model, but also the application, which means uh, it can help you control the text size. So you can do a bunch of things. So not just that you can generate the text on an image, but there are a bunch of customization that you can do on top of it. So you can have it like a graphic designer. You can have a like frame layers, uh, text and all those things that you can have. And it also comes with inbuilt style consistency. So if you were to do a particular style, you can do that style within their API endpoint itself, like within as part of this. So what we do not know is whether this is available at a model layer, whether it is available at an application layer. We don't have an information like that but you can do all these things within their platform, which is quite exciting. So somebody has decided to, I mean, somebody who understands the graphic designing side of the world, poster designing side of the world, the design language side of the world, and decided to create something that would help people starting from day zero. Now, if you were to use it, it's very easy. You can go to recraft.ai. I think at the start, they're going to give you a bunch of uh, credits for you to use it. There are a different set of things that you can do. So you have got a set of tutorials available here. You can, uh, you can first of all, generate photorealistic images. You can remove background. You can give a specific color palette and generate images from that color palette. You can uh, do in painting, which is like make a selection and then make some changes. You can do upscaling. So you have an image, a, a smaller image, and then you can uh, make it bigger. You can create a style by uploading a reference image. Like for example, in this case, you have got this particular style. This is your branding style. You can go ahead with this style. There are a lot of things that you can do. First thing first, we're going to create an image. So I'm going to click image and uh, this is this is where you give a prompt. So I'm going to give a prompt here, but the prompt is like anything that you can give. I don't think this follows a stable diffusion like style. I still believe this is very much like a diffusion transformer kind of an architecture 
like how you do it with a flux because the kind of details it captures is quite amazing. This is a prompt I found on internet, so I'm going to use it. A close-up realistic portrait of an elderly man dressed as a military soldier. He has deep wrinkles, white, stubble and a lot of information. So it basically gives information about a person. We would have never uh, been able to give this kind of detailed prompt with stable diffusion because stable diffusion always allows about, you know, add commas and do certain things. But here it is something different. So I'm going to go click recraft and they've got a button called Halloween eyes. So uh, when you do it, it is um, the, I don't know if you have used Miro board. So it creates one new thing here, or I don't know if you have used this infamous ding board. So if you see this here, uh, they've got a couple of version, but look at this image. Look at this image. You are telling me that this is AI generated. I mean, the only flaw that I can figure out is probably the eye is quite different. There are two different versions. See, the eye is the only thing, honestly, like I can find a difference. Maybe the flag has certain things. The beard is amazing. There's a bit of cut here. The wrinkles are good. So I, when you see it like very close, you can start uh, finding out flaws here and there. So it becomes quite obvious for you to figure out that this is AI generated, but just from a poster perspective, this is, this is insane. The fact that this is AI generated, um, they seem to have a good inference speed. Look at the width and image. We, we are operating at a totally different place like than you know, a full HD space. So it's, it's very interesting to see that this image generation is something that, uh, that can do much, much better job than anybody who is there. And I'm not even sure who, what is the background of them. So it also lets you do a bunch of other things. Like for example, you can, uh, um, you know, um, remove the background, like very similar, like what Ding board does. You can do all those kind of things. So the next one that I want to try is I want to try with the text. So I'm going to go ahead and then, you know, you've got like here, you've got like fine tune and all the other things. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to zoom out and, uh, make this, um, grandpa very small here. So grandpa, please go to the side. And I'm going to click here and click an image, paste the entire wrong long text here, and then see how it is going to do. I'm going to click recraft here. And as you can see, it is starting to craft and it is saying it, I have to upgrade for speed. So there is a waiting period. So while I have got the waiting period here, so it is uh, downloading eight second, six second, five second. while it is doing it, the model is already available on file if you want to use it. So I'm going to go here and then give the same prompt just in case. So copy this, come back here, paste the same image On file. You have got a bunch of styles that you can apply realistic image, digital illustration, vector illustration. I'm going to go ahead with uh, realistic image. Let's go ahead with that for now, or maybe I can give um, a vector illustration. Okay. I'm going to run this and then see how these two will give me a different response. Okay. So I've got uh, the image. There is a panda. The only thing is, is it red in color? I'm not sure. So Tony D. Zorzi, it's a South African cricket player. If you follow cricket, there was a huge victory for South Africa against Bangladesh. Player of the match for us, 177. Happy to contribute. Aiden, who's the captain, adds value winning the toss. Surprising to see that the A is lowercase. The A is not uppercase in this case. Then the other batters take the pressure of you. So after the other batter, after at some point here, it decided to cut it off and then the rest of the sentences are not there and you have and enjoyable here. So it's, it's interesting. I don't know what is it doing. We are a young side and winning away is always enjoyable. There's a cut in J we won in West Indies now in Bangladesh and hope to play the same way in the next games. There is M missing in games. It's still a really good one. Um, and you know, it's, it's, it's like almost like a wallpaper or a poster that you can already use it. Let's go to the variation here. So here again, it has the same mistake. So the games games has the same mistake. Hope to play the same way, but always away is always enjoyable. See, there is a, there is a difference there. So I don't know what is happening. I don't know what is the technology here. It can definitely generate long text. I mean, if you, if I tell you that this is a, this is a handwriting, it's, it's very interesting. I'm going to, what I'm going to do, create a very small love letter to my GF about, um, about how I love you. I don't know, just making up some crap. 
ओके माई लव एवरी मोमेंट इट डज इट डज लुक वेरी रियलिस्टिक ओके फॉर अवर्स यूर्स ओके सो आई वो टेक दिस ओके दिस इज गुड विल कम बैक टू दिस आई वो क्री दिस क्री राइट अ लेटर विथ हैंड राइटिंग स्टाइल विथ दिस टेक्स्ट ओके आई वो क्लिक री क्राफ्ट इज गोइंग टू टेक अ बिट ऑफ टाइम बिकॉज इट डजेंट वॉन्ट मी टू ओ आई एम रीप्लेसिंग दिस दैट्स माई बैड now if i go back to this i've got vector illustration i think this has been, done a much better job here the typo hardly exists and aiden is there um still it is not complete text but it has done a very good job i think what it tries to also do is fix the text within the kind of dimension that we have got and it's a vector illustration i mean it's quite interesting to see what they have done here what they put out um you have got a lot of different styles uh, including uh, different kind of vector illustration different kind of realistic images and when you saw that like the old man one that is oh this is beautiful uh except that it is not perfect every moment with you where is with you wow okay there is a lot of text missing here everything t is missing like fills what did i what did chat gpt write for me Every moment with you feels like a beautiful dream. Uh one I never want to wake you up. Okay. It's missed a lot of text, okay? Maybe it kind of got confused when I told you to write like a letter, but everything other than the letter is very beautiful. Even the ballpoint pen is so beautiful here. Doesn't look unrealistic. The gift box is good. The leaf is good. It looks like curry leaf that we <laughs> use with food. Overall this is this is quite excellent. Every moment with you feels like a beautiful I love you then words can capture okay this is this is again good except the tip of the pen looks very weird um it's like a soldering uh, you know the strip but everything else is really good i think this is an exciting development one that shows that it's not just the big boys can have fun uh, i i'm still looking forward to see the technical details that are available here but if you were to use it you should head to recraft.ai couple of credits i think you will get to do it i've got like 44 left or if you want to use it as a developer you should head to fall I link both the in the YouTube description but yeah red panda is out tell me what do you feel about it see you on the video happy prompting